year-old son is facing playground assault charges. He is charged with aggravated assault, accused of throwing a ball and aiming for another student's face. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans heard from both sides tonight. She's live in Canton with a look at how this all started, Jen. Well, Dave Carolyn, those two boys were playing outside here at Erickson Elementary back in late April when this all happened. But it wasn't until two days ago that one of the child's mother, Kamishi Lindley, learned that her 10 year old was charged with aggravated assault in juvenile court. These kids are basically playing a game that we all have played. But on April 29th, what seemed like a harmless game ended with one student getting seriously hurt. According to the boy's mother, who asked we not show her face, he has a rare medical condition, making head injuries especially dangerous. According to a police report, during that game, another student threw a ball at his face on purpose. He sustained facial tissue damage to his face. He had a black eye and a bruised nose. Records show the then fourth grader also suffered a concussion. His condition is something Kamishi Lindley says she and her son Bryce knew nothing about. Wednesday, Bryce was charged with aggravated assault. I couldn't believe it. This is on top of a one day suspension, which occurred right after the incident. This is a kid that was playing on the playground with his friends. I tried not to let it get to this point. This mother claiming her son had been hurt before and that she reported it to the school. My son was hit twice in the face of the ball previously due to this, and the child apologized to my son and he said, Mom, it's okay. Um, we're still going to be friends. I'm unaware of any of those situations. Sorry that her child got hurt. I'd be sorry for any child that got hurt. Lindley just wishes problems like this 